My name's Louise Lindsay. I'm a member of the Scottish Green Party in the Glasgow branch. Um, and I'm glad that the Butte House Agreement has come to an end. It started for me with the council tax freeze, um, but as a strong, um, strong unionist and, and um, proponent of, of good funding for education, especially further education, um, the, the treatment of, of EIS Fela and, and the staff that are striking at the moment in colleges is just abhorrent and um, that is this government that has created that situation. Um, and then the, you know, the climate targets have been scrapped. I think that was the last straw, but it, it definitely wasn't the, the only reasons why I think we um, should have ended the Butte House Agreement. And I suppose there's a little bit of relief now that, that, that it is finished, but um, it would have been the right thing to do for the, the Green membership to decide that and not the First Minister. A lot of rewriting of history going on right now. There's been a lot of talk of free travel for young people in Scotland being one of the wins of government. That was not a win of the Greens in government. That was uh, something that was agreed in a 2020 budget. Um, I think we need to be clear here that we're a, a, an eco-socialist party and a lot of the values that we have are just not something that we can really spend time achieving while we're in government and having to make um, decisions with the SNP in mind. I understand why uh, the leaders want this vote of no confidence in the First Minister to go ahead. I think that it looks a bit like a, a move of revenge um, and I'm, I'm not sure that it's the right decision. Um, I think that if it was me in that position I would abstain. Uh, I don't think that it's a well thought out political move um, and yeah it just looks like it's a, a petty decision that's being made um, just as a kind of last F you.